In this tutorial, I want to cover linking and grouping in Premiere Pro. So here I have a sequence with a talking head clip with a separate audio track. I have some B-roll on track two. And so linking, we know linking because when we bring video and audio that is the same clip down to our timeline, it's already going to be linked. This audio down here on track one is linked to the video on track two. It's synced up because that was shot on that camera. This audio down here was recorded in a separate device and is not linked. And so when something is linked, it means that if I take just the video or click just the video or, or just the audio, it's going to move both of them. If I do any sort of edits to the end with my trim tool, if I take any of my other tools down here, like my ripple edit tool or my slip tool, it's going to edit both the audio and video, whatever is linked. Say I want to link something else to this clip. Well, first maybe I would synchronize these. So taking the good audio and the bad audio, quickly synchronizing it. We learned that in another lesson. And then if I want to link all of these clips, I can select all of them, right click them, you're going to have to first unlink because you're unlinking the original files and then select all of them again and link, click link. Now the keyboard shortcut for that is Command L if you're on a Mac to link or unlink and that would be Control L on a PC. Now notice that if I select any one of these clips, it highlights all of them. Everything is selected now. And that's great because now I can edit them together. I can edit the ends. I could use the slip tool, Y, and that's going to slip, edit, everything, ripple tool, everything, it's going to happen to all of these clips. And I think linking is very beneficial when you are trying to link good audio to your video. If you have shot with two cameras and you want to be able to edit both cameras at the same time, linking is great. Grouping is another way of doing just that, grouping clips together so that you can quickly move them around. So say I edited this sequence so that I have these three B-roll clips on top of this talking head footage. I can select all of these, right click and choose to group. Now I can move all of these clips together and if I click any one of them, whether it's the audio or the video, it will move it together. And if everything is highlighted, and I click the end of a clip, it will edit that end. But if I unclick all of them and I just take one of the clips and edit the end, it's not going to edit all of them like the link clips do. So notice how when I take one of these clips, the end, and I just do a little adjustment to the end of the clip of the B-roll, it doesn't affect all of the clips, but the linked clips do. And so that's the difference. So that's how you can quickly group and ungroup your clips. So I would use grouping as a way to connect scenes together, things that you have already edited. You have your picture lock, your final edit for a series of videos, audio and everything. And maybe it's a scene that you are moving around. Sometimes I edit where I'm editing certain scene, multiple scenes on the same timeline. So I'll have certain, certain you know talking head videos with clips or b-roll or all kinds of other things and then I'll group them so that it's easy for me to just click one of them and move it around and that's where I find the benefit of grouping now with linking you can't link multiple clips like this together so I can't link actually all of this together you can only link one video with multiple audio Okay, you can't link multiple videos together. So that's one thing to note too. All right, if you have any other questions about linking and grouping, let me know. Otherwise, I hope this helps you understand the difference and how to do them.